Hello and welcome back to another episode of Eman Codes. Uh, my name is Emmanuel. Um, just to give you an, an outline of what we do on this YouTube channel, if you found yourself here, please like, please subscribe. Um, this YouTube channel is dedicated to reviewing um, softwares that have come out. So any new softwares or old softwares, um, we review them, um, do a comparison with, between them and their competitors, and then try and see whether they're any good. So if these software are, for example, catered for the individual or catered for a business, um, I like to review them just to find out whether they're any good and kind of like have an interest about them. So in today's topic, we're going to talk about Sonic Cube, um, do a review on Sonic Cube. We're going to kind of dig, um, kind of do a quick intro on what Sonic Cube is, um, which is essentially is a cold quality checking tool. Um, it, it was released around 2006, between 2006 and 2007, written predominantly in Java and is developed by um, Sonic Source. Um, as the kind of company responsible for these items. Now, just to give you a, walk, a background of what Sony Cube essentially does is, if you have any, if you are into software writing, say you have a team that writes code, for example, and they store that code in the repository somewhere, either in GitHub, GitLab, um, Azure DevOps, then um, how do you manage the quality of that code that, that your your team is producing? How do you manage the technical debt that may arise from certain bits of code that are written? Um, Sonar Cube is the answer to that. Now, of course, um, I won't, I won't, um, I won't go without saying. Um, other companies like GitLab and GitHub and even Azure DevOps provide their own kind of quality checking tools. However, sometimes you need that dedicated infrastructure for it, which is where a lot of companies and a lot of individuals actually use Sonar Cube for their own infrastructure um, called quality checking. So, essentially, it's able to scan. It's, you're able to implement Sonar Cube as part of your CI/CD. And it can scan your, um, it can scan your, your your code, your code base essentially, and pick up any kind of vulnerabilities within your code, um, pick up any technical debt um, that may arise within your code, and then take it from there. So we're going to do a, di a dive into Sonic Cube, have a quick look at what it looks like, um, how it works. Um, so stick around and find out. Yeah. So without further ado, let's dive into Sonic Cube and have a play around with it. So as promised, um, here you can see the Sony Cube um, application. Um, this is um, self -ho um, locally hosted in an AWS server, hence why you can see an IP address. Um, it runs on port 9000, um, and once you've um, created your um, account, um, you can actually go ahead and you can um, look at putting projects, importing projects into Sony Cube. I think um, Sony, it, it's great in the sense that um, it works with your organization. So. You can have multiple users essentially. Um, you can you can essentially patch your um, AD groups to allow multiple users within your organization to actually to access Sonar Cube. So, upon I'm um, actually launching it um, here, you have so you have these headers. Um, you have your project section, which will essentially house all the projects that you've, you might you imported from different. So this one is imported from um, um, GitLab. This is actually the, the repo it sits in where I own. Um, and this is just a, a simple um, application I wrote, which essentially goes ahead and sorts your um, folders into very easy identifiable um, identifiable um, directories for you. But you can go ahead and you can import from um, from GitHub. Um, on the top here, so you can see project issues, rules, quality profiles, quality gates, administration more. There are a few things I really want to touch on, which I think is exceptional, especially for your individual or at, at least for your for your business if you're running a large IT team. The first one is, um, for example, issues. So I will go back and I will scan my, my project and you can see some of the issues that arise um, from, from the code that I wrote for that particular project. Um, and then it, it, will, it will give you pretty pretty good insight as to, for example, code smells, um, any vulnerabilities, any security um, threats to that particular application and many more um, things like that. Um, another great example, which I think this is one of the most um, incredible defining features of Sonic Cube is the quality gates um, that you can create. Now, I'll give the actual Sonic Cube definition of what um, a quality gate is, which if we look here, it says, a quality gate is a set of measure-based Boolean conditions. It helps you know immediately whether your project are production ready. Um, and so what are these? Of, of course, as you can see an example here, um, it gives you certain conditions that any new code that um, wants to be pushed into production has to meet these conditions. So the way it works is, for example, um, you have your CI CD and you have your YAML script. Once you incorporate Sonic Cube as part of that CI CD YAML script, 
then it, 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 it acts as a gate that your, your code must qualify in order to actually go past. So one of the easiest ways to, to understand this is, for example, every new code that is being tested, um, the test must cover at least 80% of that. So it has to, it has to have a coverage of 80%. Um, another one is to make sure that there's no duplication of code. And one of the things you can reduce that to 3%. Now, in my opinion, I think one of the great ways of um, actually having quality gates in this manner, the way Sony Cube has it, is that um, if you have a large IT team, often it's quite hard, especially when code is being pushed from test to production, it's quite hard to put metrics against the code that's being pushed and how it affects the entire um, the business as a whole. Um, and I think one of the ways quality code can be used, quality um, gates can be used, um, is in the sense that if you've told, if you've if you've set the boundary that 80% of the test coverage has to be, um, so the test coverage has to be 80% and 3% um, or less for duplication um, of code, then you can compare them against um, when it's pushed to production, how that affects, for example, latency, how that affects customer experience, all these effects. Then you can actually maybe you can adjust and fine tune it because every every business's um, use case is different. So. Whereas a, a, another company could benefit off a 3% um, duplication, you might find that you benefit off maybe a 10%, which is, I think that's quite large anyway, um, in my opinion. But yeah, those two things, I think the quality gates here, incredible tool and incredible functionality. Um, as far as actually the quality gates, you can have quality profiles, which within itself um, houses certain um, rules and certain, um, I guess, quality gates um, conditions that you can set against any, any new code that are being pushed. So what I'll do now is I'll analyze my actual code and then we'll come back and then you'll be able to see exactly um, the items that were, were picked up. So I've got the analysis um, going within this repo here. So I'm running a quick, um, essentially a quick uh, pipeline, which will essentially go ahead and run the code. So as you can see, um, I'll, let me just show you a snippet of what the um, actual CI CD looks like. So it, this was actually generated by Sonicube itself. So it saves you time. You don't actually have to write your own um, CI CD, but this is something you can actually incorporate into your um, into your CI CD, your existing CI CD. So of course, this is the important sections. Um, it, it, it kind of basically just um, scans and then sends it to where, whichever the item, the, the, um, the server's hosted. So here we go. So as you can see, um, this project I wrote a while ago, maybe a year and a year ago, um, so, of course, the number of things have changed. So it's telling me there's four open issues with them, um, and also in terms of that's for reliability and maintainability. There's 23 open issues with that. Um, I've, at the moment, I haven't got any quality gate um, set up, um, and I don't have any new code pushed against it. But in terms of tests, I don't have any tests either. I don't have any. Duplications, that's pretty pretty good, I think. <laughs> that's not too bad. Let's have a look at the issues. So um, these are just kind of standard um, software development um, software development issues here. So add a nested comment explaining why this method. So it's not too um, tasking of these um, items I need to look at. But yeah, um, this is the aspect of essentially um, having Sony Cube. So imagine you can actually have this kind of insight into your project where after creating and writing code, you can actually get this type of insight into the quality of your project and you can have this actionable, you can actually analyze this and even you can you can set this against um, um, reviews of performance. Um, I know everyone hates that kind of, that word performance, um, company performance. But yeah, you can you can you can use these and you can actually help benefit your 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 project your projects and your business in a much more positive way. But um, this has been the um, the the dive into Sony Cube. I really hope you enjoyed this. I really hope it, if you're thinking about utilizing Sony Cube as part of your software development, either for yourself or as part of your software development cycle, either for yourself as an individual or for your company, I hope this video um, gives you some insight. And if it did please give a comment below. Let me know how it helped you. And if it didn't also, let me know how that didn't help you. And then maybe um, I could actually improve that next time. But thank you very much for your time. My name is Emmanuel Ajapong. Um, and this is Eman Codes. Have a great evening. Take care.